everyone! I'm Naomi Gonzalez, the Education and Interpretation Specialist at the Science History Institute. Welcome to another edition of Science at Home. On today's episode, we're going to learn all about invisible ink and the science of spying. Invisible ink was one of the many ways spies shared valuable information about the enemy during the American Revolutionary War. It was used by both the British and American armies, and it was one of the safest and most secure ways that spies could smuggle information without it being compromised or falling into the wrong hands. But how did the invisible ink work? And how would you hide a secret message so that the enemy couldn't find it? Let's look at how Major John Andre, the spy master for the King's Army here in America during the war, used invisible ink. John Andre was born in London on May 2nd, 1750, and at the age of 20, he purchased a commission as second lieutenant in the Royal Welsh Fusiliers. Between 1771 and 1778, John Andre would purchase an even higher rank within the British Army, as well as fight during the American Revolutionary War, even being captured by rebels in 1775. By 1779, the newly minted Major John Andre was made the head of intelligence, or spy master, for the British troops. He successfully kept track of intelligence from American deserters, as well as British prisoners who escaped American lines or were exchanged. He instructed his spies to use an array of different methods to smuggle information about the rebels back to the British. They used secret codes, couriers or middlemen they trusted to pass along information, and invisible ink. During this time, invisible ink was usually a mixture of ferrous sulfate and water, and the message could be revealed by either an acid or a heat source, like the flame of a candle. John Andre would instruct his spies to mark their letters written in invisible ink with either an F for fire or an A for acid, so that the reader knew whether they needed a heat source or a chemical solution to read the secret message. These secret messages were written in between the lines of what looked like an innocent letter, which made it harder to find by the enemy. One of the most famous spies working for Major John Andre was Benedict Arnold, traitor to the American cause. A one-time general who idolized George Washington would eventually turn thanks to Major John Andre. Unfortunately for Major John Andre, Benedict Arnold would be his downfall, and Andre would be captured by the rebels, tried, and hung as a spy. Now, General George Washington had his own network of spies, known as the Culper Ring, or the Culper Gang. And after some of their messages were compromised or found by the British, they too started using invisible ink. But unlike Major John Andre, General Washington didn't want the secret messages revealed by fire. So he had a special ink made that could only be revealed with a reagent or a chemical solution made specifically to reveal secret messages written in invisible ink. General Washington encouraged all his spies to write their messages on the empty pages in books or the back of pamphlets. That way, if spies were searched or captured by the British, the secret messages wouldn't be found. So let's get up from our desk and head over to the kitchen and start working on our own invisible ink and reagent and start thinking of what secret message you want to share with a special someone. All right, so here we are in our kitchen, and the first step is to make the invisible ink. So you'll just need half a cup of water, which I have here, and one tablespoon of baking soda, which I have here as well. I have a spoon, since we'll have to mix those two together, and that'll just help with the mixing. And then you need something to write with and something to write on. So I have a little uh, paintbrush here, has a really thin, um, point, which is great for writing. You can use something like this, or you can use a, a Q-tip, Q -tip, anything that, that you can write with, you can use. And I decided, instead of using plain old paper or printer paper, I thought it would be fun to use some pages 
um, from an old book. So we can write our messages on some of the blank parts, like this one here. We have the bottom half blank, or you can even write it in between some of the lines. So, so I'm gonna take my paintbrush here. We're gonna dip it into our ink, get off some of the excess, and start writing our secret message. And you might have to dip a couple of times, and that's fine. And you can write a secret note about where your favorite toys are hidden, or where your favorite snacks are hidden that maybe you wanna share with your sibling or with your cousin. You can write a secret note to Santa, maybe asking for that PS5 that just came out. Whatever you want, that's what you're gonna write in your secret message. And you can see it's still very wet, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this here and it needs to dry. Now it needs to be fully dry. And when it does dry, none of these little letters that you see um, from the ink are gonna be are gonna be shown. It's gonna be fully dry. It takes about 15, maybe 20 minutes. And once it's fully dry, we're gonna come back and we're gonna mix up our reagent, our chemical solution, to reveal our secret message. So stay tuned. All right, so we're back and our paper is fully dry so you can see right nothing there no secret message but let's reveal what we wrote so now we're going to mix up a few things to make our reagent right our chemical solution to reveal our hidden message so for this you're going to want half a cup of rubbing alcohol be very careful when you pour this it smells really really strong so if you have um, a window open or a fan on that'll help make it a little little easier to breathe You'll need a teaspoon of turmeric, which I have here. And that's a, a really beautiful colored spice that you can use. Um, now this will stain your hands uh, yellow, so be very careful handling that. And then I have, again, my spoon to mix and some cotton balls. Now, to help uh, spread your reagent over your message, you can use a little paintbrush or anything like that, but I really like using the, um, the cotton balls. So, let's mix up our turmeric and our rubbing alcohol. Now I'm putting my spoon on a paper towel just to help prevent staining. And now I'm gonna grab a nice big cotton ball here, okay? I'm gonna very carefully dip one part of it in the reagent. So you see we have just a little bit of that turmeric there. And then I'm gonna pat this over the area where we wrote our secret message. Okay, so my secret message is chocolate in cupboard behind cups, revealing a secret stash of chocolate candy that maybe I wanna remind myself I have or maybe I wanna share with a, a friend. Um, or if you have a sibling, you might wanna share with a sibling. So what does your secret message say? And who did you write it to? Now remember, the only people who can reveal your secret message are the people with the reagent, right? The people with the chemical solution to reveal your secret message. So make sure whoever you're writing to knows how to whip up this uh, special solution so that they can see what secret message you wrote them. Now, I'm gonna go and look for that chocolate. Happy experimenting!